What's going on guys, this is Scott from Revolutions PM. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put a crankshaft into an Evo 10 motor or the 4B11T. This is a sleeved block from AMS. It's a 86 millimeter or stock bore, stock stroke. Today we're gonna to be putting the crank in with some ARP main studs, new ACT bearings, thrust bearings. And yeah, let's get this engine turned over and we'll get started. All right guys, the most important step of any engine build is to make sure that you got the engine super clean. So I'm going to be using some Walmart brand uh, brake cleaner. Just going to be blasting out the bearings, where the mating surface is. I'm going to dry it off real quickly with some compressed air over there. Okay, now that we have the block cleaned up and dried out, we're gonna go ahead and install the oil squirters. They look like this. I had to modify them because I'm running Wiseco pistons. And if I didn't modify them, they would hit right here when the piston comes down towards the bottom of the stroke. So what I did is I just put them in, set the crank in, pushed the piston up through the bottom, and then kind of like held it and looked where it was rubbing. And then I bent it out of the way on the bench. A lot of trial and error for that, but I'm gonna go ahead and install these. And the torque spec, I believe, is 24 foot-pounds. Okay, so once you've hand-threaded them down in there, you want to set your torque wrench to 24 foot-pounds. It's a 17 mil. Um, we're just going to go ahead and torque these down. All right, next step, we're going to put the main bearings in. I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, you're going to want to grab your bearings. Make sure they're squeaky clean. There's a little indent on the block right here. And there's a little indent on the bearing and it's as simple as lining them up just like that so we're going to go ahead and shoot through the rest of these making sure that they're squeaky clean and then we can get the crank ready to go in All right guys, I just prepped the crankshaft by brake cleaning it and then drying it off with some compressed there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice lint-free towel with some brake cleaner and just wipe these out real quick just to get all that packing grease off of them. Or the grease from uh, storing them as I have here. All right guys, after cleaning and then drying the main bearings, it's time to grab your favorite assembly lube. And we're just gonna put a little dot in there. This stuff's real stringy, as you can see. It's what you want for when you're assembling a motor. Make sure everything stays lubed and oiled properly. I'm gonna take our finger and just smear it around. Make sure the whole bearing is covered. Now that we got the bearings all lubed up and ready to go, it's time to put the thrust bearings in. I've already stuck that one on there. Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go, right here. I put that one on there. All you do is put a little bit of assembly lube on the back just to hold it in place. Then you're gonna to wanna to come in here just right in place. Rotate it a little bit, spread out that assembly lube. It should hold it pretty good. Now that you've done that and the crank's all clean, it's time to put it in. I'm not gonna try to do that with one hand filming, and so I'm just gonna lower it into place and then pick up where we left off. All right, now that we got the crank in place, I'm just gonna go around and inspect to make sure every bearing is properly where it needs to be. That one's good. Uh, if you could see, this thrust bearing kind of moved up on me a little bit, so I'm just going to gently push it back down into place. All right, all these bearings look pretty good. Next step is we're going to clean out the main caps with, you guessed it, a little brake cleaner and a towel. And then we're going to go ahead and put them on with some more assembly lube on the main journals. All right, now that they're all clean, same thing. We're just going to give them a dot of assembly lube right there here and right here you're just going to want to spread it out just like before i'm going to throw a glove on this time and then do that and then you're going to want to place them on there one one goes here two three four and then five okay so we got one two three four five there we go they're all going to face towards the front of the engine which is the timing cover side so you're just gonna wanna press down, make sure they're you know, seated as much as you can. And then what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your ARP nuts and your ARP fastener lube. They should come with the nuts. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and dip them. I got some lube here on the table. Dip them around, get some on there. Probably don't need that much. 
Uh, and then just start them off. I'm gonna do all these by hand, as tight as I can get them with my fingies, and then we're gonna go around torquing them all. Okay, once you got them all hand tightened down, you can see that there's plenty of grease on each one. I've written up a little diagram here. You can pause it and take a picture of it if you need to. Uh, you're gonna wanna do increments of three all the way up to the final torque spec. For the bigger ones at 70, smaller ones at 32, and this is the torque sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You're gonna be torquing a lot, so I advise investing in a nice torque wrench. All right, now that they're all tightened and torqued down to spec, last step is to give it a nice little rotate. You're gonna to wanna to make sure it rotates nice and smooth. I don't feel anything there, it feels great. And with that, your crankshaft is installed. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode when we put the pistons in.